And thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Lauren Maloney. We start with an update on a police involved shooting from July. A Brattleboro police officer and two Vermont State Troopers will not be prosecuted for an incident that killed 34 year old Matthew Davis. Fox 44's Josh Morrill is live in the newsroom with more details that we learned just today. Josh. Yeah, Lauren, that's right. The Vermont Attorney General and the Orange County State's Attorney's offices both released the findings into the investigation of the officer involved shooting that resulted in Davis's death. And here are the details. As you might remember, the body of 23 year old Mary Anderson from Harvard, Massachusetts, was found in a blue truck in Brattleboro on July 19th. Leading up to finding her body, Massachusetts State Police received a report from her family members that Anderson was missing and foul play was suspected on the part of Matthew Davis, her ex-boyfriend. MSP contacted the Brattleboro Police on the 18th after Anderson's phone connected to a Wi-Fi network in the town. At the time, Matthew Davis was only a person of interest in her disappearance and death. Authorities say it's despite a probation record that included assault to kill and assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. After Anderson's body was found, BPD requested assistance from state police. And later that day, a VSP officer saw Davis walking on Western Avenue in Brattleboro and drove past him waiting for other officers to arrive. Davis then ran onto Bonnyvale Road, and Brattleboro Police Officer Ryder Carbone blocked off the road, and VSP detective sergeants, including Samuel Truex, pursued Davis, who was in a culvert. According to Monday's report, Davis did not comply with orders to come out and started running through the woods. Police confronted Davis at the wood line, where Detective Sergeant Jesse Robson identified that Davis had a knife. After ordering him to put down the knife approximately 10 times, authorities say Davis refused to comply and charged towards Truex and Robson. Truex, Robson, and Carbone proceeded to shoot multiple rounds at Davis when he refused to stop. Brattleboro paramedics arrived eight minutes after the last gunshot was fired, and Davis was pronounced dead. The Attorney General and Orange County State's Attorney have determined Carbone, Robson, and Truex were reasonable and justified in shooting Davis because they were under a, quote, imminent threat to cause death or serious bodily injury. And the findings also said that their three officers were aware of Davis's criminal history before the incident and that Mrs. Anderson's deceased body with an apparent gunshot wound was located inside her truck on the morning of July 19th. And live in the newsroom, I'm Josh Morrill, Fox 44 News.